initially in the previous video we have seen the design guidelines for cylindrical bunker let us see a problem on that let me read the question design a circular cylindrical bunker to store 20 tons of coal density of coal is 9 kilo newton per meter square sorry uh, it's wrong 9 kilo newton per meter cube angle of repose is 30 degrees use the limit state method of design and adopt characteristic strength of concrete and steel as 15 and 415 newton per mm square respectively sketch the details of reinforcement see this is the given data so from the given question i have written the data here weight of the coal they have given 20 tons so this is 20000 kg 1k uh, 1 kg is 10 newton so if say we can say this is 200000 newton that is 200 kilo newton Density of coal is as they have given us 9 kilo newton per meter cube. This is meter cube. Actually, please uh, rectify. Uh, please see the mistake here. This is 9 kilo newton per meter cube. Angle of repose is phi is 30 degrees. FCK is 15 newton per mm square. FCK FI is that is grade of uh, steel that is 415 newton per mm square. Step one is about dimensions of the bunker. So we have to check the volume of the punka. So that is weight by density. If we do that, that is weight is we have 200 kilo newton. Density is 9 kilo newton per meter cube. If we do that, the volume we got it as 22.2 meter cube. So let us now after that we have to dis, uh, assume uh, the initial dimensions of the punka according to the volume of the to, uh, uh, whole bunka. So we here I am assuming the uh, bunka diameter as some see here one minute okay i have assumed the diameter as 2.8 meter depth of the hopper bottom 1.2 meter overall dimensions assumed can uh, can be assured in the figure i said here i have assumed all the values like this here this is the surcharge value 800 mm this is 300 mm that is 3 meter 1.2 meter and here total is 2800 meter your hopper opening is 500 that is small d or here i said dh whatever even the no notation is different the process is same step 2 is capacity of the bunker now we have to see the after knowing the uh, after giving the initial dimensions we have to check the volume of each part i mean volume of the whole bunker we have to calculate so first one volume of the surcharge this part that is that is given by one third of pi d square by 4 into hs so if we use that formula we will get the volume at this portion uh, so volume of the cylindrical portion that is the area into height of the cylindrical portion if we do this if we do this we will get the volume of this portion so again of volume of the frustum of cone that is, I am talking about the hopper bottom so if we use this formula I have mentioned here we will get the volume at this portion that's all after the total volume is 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 at to, uh, whole uh, volume will be given as 23 meter cube it is more than what we have got here that is 22.2 meter cube this is more than the uh, we have assumed the dimensions more than that that is very good so we can now proceed for design that is greater than 22.2 meter cube we can proceed for design so uh, step 3 is about design of cylindrical walls so as I, I have given the formula in the guidelines this is one gamma h cos square phi phi is here angle of repose they have given us 30 degrees h is the height of the cylindrical wall hc here gamma is a unit weight of the coal so after substituting all the values we will get this hoop tension of the cylindrical wall per meter height this is given by pd by 2 that is 0.5 pd p here we got it 20.25 so just sub substitute that capital D is the diameter of the cylindrical portion that is 2.8 meter please don't forget the forget to mention the units uh, here I have forgot please don't do the mistake FH is a uh, we get value of FH as uh, I mean hoop tension I'm talking about H here so if we substitute here the values we will get hoop tension as 28.35 kN ultimate hoop tension so if we multiply the hoop tension uh, with the factor of safety 1.5 we will get the ultimate hoop tension after that we find out the reinforcement that is FHT by uh, as we have got the value of if uh, ultimate uh, hoop tension so we have to see the reinforcement AST is ultimate hoop tension upon 0.87 FY after that 
we got the reinforcement this much now i have told you we have to check the minimum reinforcement that is 0.2 percent of the cross sectional area 0.2 into 150 into 1000 here 150 is assumed diameter of the thick, uh, assumed uh, thickness of the cylindrical wall we can assume it of course use uh, so here i am using 8 mm diameter bars at 250 mm center to center provide vertical reinforcement as well as we have to provide horizontal reinforcement also same step 4 is about design of hopper bottom providing sloping slab a 180 mm thick this is the thickness i have assumed we can assume between 200 to 350 but it is better to better if it is less than 2 uh, 250 weight of the coal we can get it uh, by multiplying the unit weight with volume of the hopper volume of the hopper initially we have found out so if we multiply both of them you will get the weight of the coal now we have to find the self weight of the sloping bottom so as i have explained in the guidelines if we use the formula if we substitute all the values we get it h root 2 so i have taken here cos theta is uh, cos theta i mean sin theta, sin 45 is 1 by root 2 so we will get ds is equal to h by root 2 in this manner so i got the ds value in this way gamma c it is well known that is the unit weight of the concrete we have take we can take it as 25 or 24 kN per meter cube capital d is the diameter of the cylindrical portion small d is the diameter of the hopper see here. after this this is the total load that is weight of the coal plus weight of the self weight of the hopper bottom this two so we'll get the value this much now we have to find out the tension based on this total load that is total load multiplied by the pi into this is pi into d plus d by 2 is nothing but the perimeter perimeter of the central portion we have to take the mean diameter so it is the central portion multiplied by the cos 45 degrees uh, sorry cosecant 45 degrees so if we substitute uh, here theta is assumed or we can take according to this uh, according to the dimensions we have uh, we can also find it out taking it uh, right angle triangle we can uh, specify the value of theta otherwise we can take directly 45 degrees according to the dimensions we have taken please remember that t is a, after substituting all the values t is a, 60.6 kN so now we have to find out the ultimate tension that is we have to multiply with the factor of safety this uh, 1.5 after doing that we'll get this again reinforcement for this tension so du by 0.7 87fy we have to check the, the minimum reinforcement and we have to provide the reinforcement bus accordingly here i am using 8 mm diameter bus at 200 mm center to center in direction of sloping slab in the guidelines i have said we have to provide reinforcement in this direction next one is normal component of the coal pressure at the center of the sloping side is the this is the formula i have given you here all the components are known here gamma is the way, uh, unit weight of the coal h is a height mean height so that is given by this formula theta is a uh, angle of the sloping side phi is the angle of repose after substituting all the values we will get this this much so after that normal component due to weight of the sloping uh, side the formula is this wd cos theta wd is given by this formula again gamma c multiplied by t into 1 one is here i am taking from 1 meter t is the thickness of the sloping side i mean hopper thickness of the hopper bottom so after, this is also assumed i said initially so we got the value of uh, wd this much wd cos theta this multiplied by cos 45 3 kN per meter square i got out of that norm, total normal pressure so we have take uh, seen here normal component of the coal pressure at the center of sloping side plus due to self weight so we have to add this two we will get this value so mean diameter we have to find uh, mean, mean diameter is well known that is capital d diameter of the cylindrical portion plus diameter of the hopper bottom divided by 2 hope tension for meter we have to find out so this is the formula half into pdm so ultimate hope tension also we can find out by multiplying with factor of safety later we have to find out the ast It's very easy, and minimum area of steel. This is 0.12 percent of the cross-sectional area. So after this, we can find out the AST, and also subsequently we can provide the reinforcement according to the reinforcement value we got. That's all. This is the reinforcement details. These are the reinforcement details. Please check that.